How's it going, YouTube? Dino Tombstone Belts back here again on a brand new video. Today is just a fill-up video showing a technique of mine that I learned a little bit on uh, the YouTube channels about how to make these belts look more TV accurate. And mostly it's going to involve with a particular belt of mine. And it's about curving these belts. Yes, guys, I know you've seen all these videos on YouTube about how to curve belts. And believe me, <laughs> it's not that easy as they claim to be. I mean, unless you got a lot of strength and plus two, a lot of care for your belts, by all means, go ahead and try it. I recommend, if you're not so, if you don't feel all right to doing this, then I really recommend do not do it. Because it's quite a strain. And two, if you do, if you try go too hard on doing this, you may crack, let alone break your belt. I was just trying to give it a try and see how it goes. And, uh, Luckily for me, it worked, but I don't know if I want to say try this on all my belts. I've been trying to do it with the US, the normal US belt somehow. It's not been working as well because that plate is obviously a little bit too small for me to try to curve. I would like to try maybe try curving the four millimeter intercontinental title. But first I was giving it a shot at my my Network logo WWE belt, and obviously here it is at the hand. I just curved it. Is I mean, it's best bet if I put this down on the on the floor and show you the difference with my blue universal. So let's take a look. Obviously, the four. Well, here's the. I'm. It's odd. I'm doing this all like in backwards, basically showing the end results. And I'm going to show you the how to, and I'm going to do it probably with the blue universal. So here's the. Obviously, you don't see much of a difference until we get towards an angle. So you see how flat that looks? And look at this. Look at that. Literally just slide my... I mean, it's not a deep curve. It's not like a really deep curve on the belt, but still better than, better than this. Look at that. I can barely get my fingertips in there. Here, I can slide my hand in. Obviously, I would try to curve it more, but I think that's curved enough. I mean, you don't want to put much of a deep, deep curve because I don't want to risk breaking the belt because I think this is about as good of a curve I could get without breaking it. Because many times I was pushing on it, it may hurt like a little bit cracking noises, but that could just be the fact that the resin is starting to pop up or some of the stones may pop out. But then again, I'm doing this at my own risk. So, therefore, as you guys see, I love the curve on this belt now. I mean, if I ever feel like I'm going to want to try to curve it more, I'll give it a shot. But right now, I'm good at where I got it at right now. But to show you how I did my did it with this title, we're going to do it with the Blue Universal. So I'm going to pause the video and take you to the place where I'm going to try to curve it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, again guys uh i'm actually now in my uh, back room so yeah most of you could probably try to curve this anywhere but my best option is right here on the tub the edge of the tub will fit just right that's how i curve my wwe towel here's the blue universal i'm gonna wear gloves so i just don't you know fingerprint up my belt and simple fact you gotta just make sure you line it up just right and obviously you gotta have a lot of strength for this but also be careful because you can risk cracking it and obviously I got a rug right under the edge so I don't scratch the, you know, the tub. You know, I'm not probably worried about the tub. But I handle both edges. Mostly start from top, maybe work your way to the bottom and just. Push down on the belt. So I'm going to probably. I had the WB towel for a while, so obviously it was a lot easier to do. But just slightly push down on it. Then hopefully you don't crack it. And pretty much just that. Then you just keep turning around, maybe do side to side. Thing is guys, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to curve this one because I just did the WWE belt and it really messed up my hands. So, and you got to have a lot of strength to do this. Just do a slight push. Don't go all in because you could break your belt. But put it on the edge. And just slightly push down until it starts to bend. And soon you get a better curve on your belt. Sometimes it may just take a little while just to do it. And that's all, guys. Now I'll pause the video and take. And here you go, guys. That is it for today. I couldn't do much with the curving on this belt. I mean, I think I did a much better slight curve on it. And you can see now. Or I couldn't put my fingers through it. I got a slight curve on it. I'll probably try to curve it more later to be more like this. Because, guys, this one is a lot better of a curve. I'm surprised how the outcome is on this belt. And obviously, I just hope that the curve could stay on it. Many times, the belt may just go back to normal. I mean, I don't even heard of people saying it may do that. But, guys, I wish to do more on this. But as you can see, uh, the camera pick up. But my hand. The palm of my hands are gone red from trying to curve these belts. And the outcome on this, I actually, uh, if the camera, could, oh, there it goes. Yeah, as you can see, my hands are all red. It was a little bit blurry, guys. I had to, had to clear it. But two, well, three stones were started to look like garbage, so I had to replace them with the stock stones. So, therefore, I'm not going to try to hold the belt. I'm going to try to make sure the glue... Because I just re-glued the stones. There's two up there and one down here I replaced. But obviously, yeah, the stock stones still look like garbage. I know sooner or later I may think about replacing them with the Swarovski crystals. So far right now, there's only four Swarovski crystals on this belt. And I'm soon try to replace them with the square stones. And maybe even eventually try to get this uh, send out re-leather strap. But man, love the curve on this belt now. And eventually may try to curve that belt. And, of course, the Red Universal. And since this one's pretty much a brand new newer one, I got this one, like, a couple years ago now. So, it's slightly been been through a lot. So, obviously, easier to bend. But still, I would not recommend trying to do it if you're not, you know, if, you're, if you feel like, if you start to have that feeling like, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Well, then I would recommend don't do it try to i mean everyone likes a curve i mean the accurate belt with a curve but if you want if you don't want to risk break having a chance of breaking your belt don't do it but anyway guys that is it for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe comment below what you guys think and as well don't forget to be voting on the contest guys number three belts are up for debate so far leading one is the light heavyweight belt and as well, follow me on my inst um, my social media at Instagram at DMA96 and of course on Twitter, DM Tombstone96. I'm DM Tombstone Belts, and I'll see you guys in the next video.